I'm always excited to get on a live event with Ms. Cindy Pope and with all of you people who I love. Um, Tonight, we're doing a little just introduction to a class coming up um, called The Magic of Powder Coating on Metal. And Ms. Cindy Pope, she's been going wild with this and talking to me about it. And she'll text me and call me with all this excitement in her um, voice. (laughs) So I was really excited to do this class. But I thought, let's just do a little quick show everyone what's involved so that they can get um, excited about it. So that's what's tonight. You can type in your questions in there. So it's not officially a class, um, but if it's... uh, um, You'll learn a lot anyway tonight. So let me, okay, before I totally let Cindy take over the meeting and talk, here's some of the things I'm excited about. Misty will put in there um, the coupon code that doesn't, well, you can use it now, but no one knows about it yet except you ladies. Um, Sparkle 25, you get 25% off at craftcast.com. So you can buy Cindy's class if you buy it now with a percentage off. Cindy will put Sparkle 25. Misty is putting that in the chat box and then she'll put in the link to get her class. So that's very exciting for everyone here. Then this is the part that I'm very excited about because I'm addicted. I was just talking to everyone. I'm addicted to um, kits, to crafting kits. And I have been since I was a little girl uh, and love kits. So we're working with Cool Tools, with Rhonda over Cool Tools and we have the first Craftcast supply kit for a class. It is at a special price, $198.95. You get everything you need to get started. Plus, we're assuming because you're all, like you just wrote in there, crafters with something, you're going to have some of the other supplies you need that is pretty basic for your crafting studios. If you're missing something, it'll be under the separate listings under there to add into your cart. But we wanted to keep in the kit the things that are really that you need for the powder coating, which exactly what um, Ms. Pope will use in her class. Just, you'll have everything. Um, this video will be available, but on YouTube, you'll all get the link um, for it. So you will see if you want to watch it uh, again at another time, plus an email go out telling you all of that. Um, you know what? Misty, let me forward an email to you, see if you can help someone with a getting in. I just got an email for her. Excuse me, just one second, everybody, and see if you can help her get in, because I know how upsetting it is when you can't. Um, So that's available, and you'll get all this listed again um, in uh, an email and all of that, because sometimes it's overwhelmed. I know it's really exciting, Audrey. (laughs) So without further ado, Miss Cindy Pope is going to walk us through all this freaking amazing things she has done with powder coating and tell us all, basically. So, Cindy, thank you for always doing this. You always put together a fantastic class. So here is our first JPEG. We're not doing videos tonight. We're just going to look at finished things and discuss what was involved. Um, And if you have any questions, just put it in the chat box there. So, So thank you, Cindy. Thank you. First, I wanted to give Hadar Jacobson credit because she invited her um, team of teachers and students over to do a little powder coating thing a year and a half ago. And we did a lot of techniques and a lot of techniques are things she taught us or I um, kind of came up with on my own or made it easier or less troublesome. So, um, and I have been working like a madwoman for a year and a half. So I haven't got bored of this, which is kind of a cool thing. So this one, now these are pieces I made for metal clay. You don't need to be a metal player to do this. Um, there's, you'll see p- pictures later of blanks um, that I got are going to be in your kit from Cool Tools, which is an inexpensive way to start. But I did a little donation for a fundraiser and I took my bronze pieces and I made them half black. People really like bronze and black. And um, Agreed. They love this was the first one to go in the um raffle, the first one of mine to go. It's great. And these are then white and, these, and black. And I've never been a black and white person, like colors. I was like obsessed with these. I kind of love. wanted to take my raffle ticket and pick my own stuff up because I have never remade those <laughs> for, these for myself, except for the little ones with the windows at the bottom. They're kind of mid-century modern was the inspiration. But um, this is using some pen techniques and some masking techniques 
and some dual color techniques. And those are all really cool and kind of different ways to look at it. And just so everyone knows, that black and white is included in the kit. Mm-hmm. Masking tapes included in the kit. So you can do this stuff. And I, Audrey just wrote, I think I'm in love. I agree. I love the black and white a lot, Cindy. It's really cool. But I need then, to make these all bet for me again. I, I feel quite sad looking at them that I don't have them. But some, no, some nice person contributed to the fundraiser, so. No, it's lovely. But then the problem is I looked at this and went, oh, wait, I love that too. (laughs) So I am not a terribly painterly person. Um, My, you'll see some later that I've gotten a lot better because I have friends that are painters that I've looked at their work. And this is, you can do a gradient of colors and put artwork on it. And I think that is so cool because I love a piece of jewelry. That's a little piece of art. Okay. I love those little ones that have like the white looking like, um, a well it's called cow parsley sometimes but or um, queen anne's lace correct queen anne's lace is my absolute favorite thing i adore that those are so adorable Thank you, you guys this is what she's going to show in the class so that's why i want to this is why we want to do this because it's a little overwhelming to see all the possibilities so it's just one of the like... there's segments you know me i can't show you one thing so i'll have segments on each thing and teach you some of the underlying rules for success which is what we need yeah uh, That's what sure. we need. All right. Now these, hello. Now, wait, I want to say, this is something Cindy said to me. She said, this is great. Let's say you don't like how your earrings came out that you made, or you want to change them. This is a great way. Let Well, I like these earrings anyway, but you just want to all of a sudden make them a color. That's fabulous. And when I put this up on Facebook, someone said, oh, that what a great shape. This is a blank from Cool Tools. So this yeah, will be fabulous. in your kit. There'll be six of these. And man, I love these earrings. I, I wear love them all those. the time. I love those. All right. So now here is that shape. And you did lots of other colors for us. And on the little green one, um, which is one of the colors I'm using because I'm doing some leaf work in the class, it has a little stone on it. I see and it so right there. And so you can drop a stone in and it captures it um, with the powder coating. Without a bezel. Yes. Is that one of the stones that comes the four millimeter? Um, yes. Okay. But this so one's three, oh. but you guys will get fours because I don't have any fours left. Yes. It's much easier than enameling. And yes, you get four of those um, cubic zirconians in the kit. I love that. It looks like a little bit of water there. So yes, this is like fun summertime adult camp to do this. So no, it's not just for metal. I don't know. That's a good question. Is this uh, cold enameling? I don't know. Is this, would you call this cold no, enameling? No, cold enameling usually involves resin. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that, and some people don't love it when you call it cold enameling. Um, the nice thing about this is if you are unhappy with what you did, there is a wonderful thing called a do-over. And if any of you have tried to get enamel out of a piece, it's really, really hard this is really easy. You just burn off the powder coating, give it a polish and start over. Yeah, and this is fine. I'll give you a video on that. I've seen it. It's great. So um, this is a good, why don't we just bring that up? Dory said, what's the difference between this and enameling? It's a huge difference with the material. Yeah. What, what you will think, what you'll recognize this from is if you have an appliance that has a color on it, yeah. or if you have, have you driven next to someone that has really hot pink wheels on their car. Louise just oh. said she used it on her custom um, camper van. Oh my gosh. What color? What color did you use? Yeah. So it's, you know, enameling is a much higher temperature. It's glass. That's a whole different thing. Um, and this is using a toaster oven. And most people who are doing big machinery, they have a static electricity set up. And, but we're just sifting and dipping. So we're not using anything except for a toaster oven. It's pretty interesting. And this is another one of the blanks that Cool Tools has. And these blue ones are my favorite piece because it looks like you put a piece of silk onto the earring. And this this is a pretty color. Um, Yeah, there's so many colors. They have about, I think they're up to 34 maybe. I have them behind my computer. I think they have 34 and I don't have them all summer in the mail, but um, I love them. I mean, these there's just when you like one, it's like another, like, no, I like that. Um, Paula just said, Oh wait, hold on. Elaine, you just said, is there a matte finish? I forget there is right. 
Um, oh, there's Matt and yeah, there's Shiny. And yeah. so I'm going to give you a spreadsheet with the class that shows which ones are sh- the gloss level of each one and the, the firing temperatures and what oh, they're no, You'll get everything. Of. I've been, you'll get all the info you need. And yes, you can do round surfaces. I've seen Miss Pope do that. Inside um, of rings, I'm going to show you. Yeah, You'll see it I later. Do, I don't believe... Nikki wants to know how fast does it wear off? I don't think it's at all, right? I don't think it wears. It's kind of like a car. Like the it, cars, they're doing probably three millimeters. But I have purchased things that are powder, powder coated jewelry, and yeah. I've never, it hasn't worn off at all. It's really, really strong stuff because yeah. it's made for appliances, right, 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 and machines, which is crazy. But here's my beautiful silk earrings. I just love these. I know that looks like, it really looks like material. It does. This is not, um, you know, the electrostatic setup is really huge. So we're doing some techniques that are pretty simple, but you can get wow effects, which I like. Right. I right. want a wow effect. Right. Yeah. That Ruth just said they, it wore off after 25 years. This is the stuff like, you know, the, like appliances, like cars, that's not wearing off fast. It's mm-hmm. incredibly durable. So, um, you know what, that's a good question. Can you do it on ceramic? You were going to experiment with that, right? Well, Cindy? I have, uh, I'm, we're going to do ceramic tiles. So we're oh, going right, to right, do right. it on part of the classes, how to do a ceramic tile. You'll see them at right. the end. So you can get, I know you can do it on top of glaze. You can't really do it on a bisque fire because it's still porous. Now, right, if right, you have right. those of you that are potters, um, if it's vitrified, which means it's gone through the glaze firing, I think you can put it on. I think the best thing to do, though, is to put it over a glaze. Glaze Got is it. like glass and it, and it stays right on that beautifully to the um, tiles that we're going to do. You're all going to want to do tiles. It does work on the glass that way. Paul was just asking. And Mm -hmm. I don't think you've had any big chipping concerns, right? It's not like, oh my, not at all. That's yeah. If I want it to come off, I must grind it really, really hard. Right. (laughs) Now, Cindy, are these some of the blanks in the kit? I can't remember. So this is called a rhombus. This is a rhombus, rhombus in the kit. You've got this one. And this one, I also put stones on. And this is um, a dark chrome special Love color it. that they have that I really like. Love it. I know you get these in the kit. This is my favorite because I don't know. I just think it's really, really cool. Um, I did a little video where I just sifted for cool tools, but this one I'm actually masking and then I'm creating tribal tattoos. So there'll be a lot of these in the video and I'll show you how to do the basic one with black and white. Fine. Love it. It is a night circus, Nikki. That's I great. I love night circus. Um, oh, these are fun. These these aren't in the kit, but this was something else that Cindy was doing that was just to yeah, give you blanks, ideas. The blanks are very inexpensive. And, yeah. you know, so I started with metal clay pieces, but I kind of played around with blanks. And this one, I wasn't sure it would work. And it work beautifully because it's holy. It's got holes that go through, but they're, they're really, really pretty. And one of them, they have a lot of mica at cool tools. And I put some mica on the, the blue one. It's oh, yeah, hard to tell it. with the picture. So in class, I think I'm going to have to pick them up and show you the glitter and the metallic look because you can't, my photo, this doesn't give it justice. Well, that's a hard, those three colors are hard to get right in one mm-hmm. photo. All right. So here's what it's going to look like a bit close up when um, you get your kit. Uh, she's, <laughs> Ellie's addicted and she hasn't even started yet. I know. Um, what are the blanks made of? Base metal. Yeah. So there's nickel, there's, um, but you're covering it. So nickel silver, which I don't know if it has nickel in it. Um, so you're, but you're covering it. It you have bronze that are gold plated, which is really pretty. If you have the gold pe- peeking out, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, I don't know if they have any silver plated ones. There's straight bronze ones. There's a lot of different things, but they're inexpensive. Um, like the little leaves, I think you get six. Mm-hmm, and that's mm-hmm. uh, so. A lot of times, there's more than just two in a kit. It depends on how big they are. There's, Um, there's some copper, copper works. And we'll talk about that in class because copper will tarnish some. uh, I love some tarnishing, but some people don't. And so there's two different ways to look at it. 
Paula has a good question. Yes, recommend a whisk for each color. Paula, that's yes. why it comes with the eight whisk for the eight colors in the kit. It is something recommended. There was another good question here. Oh, I forget who added because they're going by sort of fast. Oh, um, Aviva. No, Aviva, what about, I was thinking, how could we do this with polymer clay? And I'm thinking you make your powder coated piece first and add the polymer clay around it. Yeah, because polymer clay, um, cures at like 260 I think or 250 and this, and this is going to cure at 300 at 350 yeah. or 400 okay but, so there you but go but if there are some things that have a lower temperature there are some low temperature powder coats I've not played with them uh, I'm playing mostly 350 is the lowest and 350 is the clear I'm using because I want to be able to powder coat on top of copper with a heat patina without putting it up to 400, which will affect that heat patina. So it's doable. You just have to figure out, you know, just like cooking, which thing you cook first in the hotter oven. Right. Um, Cindy said, will the powder coating piece tarnish the over copper? I don't think that doesn't come through. The back would tarnish like normal copper, but not where you put the powder coating. No, I have covered, I did a really pretty um, patina for my, I think it was my metal clay class um, on a copper piece. And it has not tarnished under the powder coating. I dipped it right. and powder coated both sides. So I think um, you'll see some ones that I have that they, they turn, copper turns a little red in the kiln at 350, but right. man, it's really pretty. And um, I would say, yes, Nikki, that we'll be going over in the class, all of the safety, just like everything we do, we need mm -hmm. to be safe and masks and all of that, that will be covered. Uh, and let's see, a stained glass effect. I'm sure you could. I mean, it, that's like getting creative, how you want to make something up. Um, I will I, write a note right now to try it on glass because I'll bet you it works on glass. I bet it does too. I bet it does too. And I, yeah, I think that's very exciting. All right. So here, these were the little fish blanks that you showed us before. Mm -hmm. And then here it is working with how she put on the powder coating. I and love this, the little this means nothing. I took it off and I thought it was so pretty. So that is, yeah. That's I had great. to show it to you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then they came out fabulous. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, really fun. Uh, all right. These are great. You showed me these one night. I'm like, oh, fantastic. And again, these are some of the blanks people are getting. Um, well, this is from a, I have three new template sets and this oh, is right. from the I'm sorry, Leaf right. Flame okay. temple, template set. Now this one, I actually put um, sparkle clear and green. And then I wanted, I'm going to show you how you can part of coat part of it and not the rest of it. And this one, I actually took up to 400 because I used sparkle clear, which is something else you're getting. So it did get a little red, but I kind of like it with the green. And so I love it. And, and that's the pea green white. that's in the kit. Is that the pea green? Sweet pea, yeah. Sweet pea the green, sweet, yeah. Uh, yes. That green yes. is in the kit, yeah. Oh, so Cindy wants to show you if you, she has templates also for sale. Um, and Misty, if you can find that link, is it on your site, hon, or on your? On Cool Tools. On Cool Tools. Go to Cool yeah. Tools and you'll see her templates. If you just want to um, work with that shape. She has a and few this one, And so all these were made with this one template, all these different shapes, which is kind of fun the way I design them. Yeah, but, I love um, it. This, I have three new ones this year. I have a goddess one and I have an Aztec one and this leaf one. Love those oh, shapes. This is an older one. Um, these I love because it's a wonderful hanging earring that has a little more, instead of just being a piece of wire, it's a little flatter. So these are the, some of the ones my mom stole. <laughs> Love it. All right. Paula wanted to know, can you keep the, keep it and mix the colors together to reuse? Well, sort of yes. Cause you did do that in doing gradation, right? Yeah. I have recently started a little pot. What I would do if you're really um, going to be meticulous, I would put like colors together. I've mm -hmm. seen um, mm -hmm. glaze people who do that with their glaze chips. But, so it doesn't um, turn into mud. Keep, Yeah. yeah exactly. But you, you can reuse it as long as it hasn't gotten cured at all. So if I'm heat sifting, I want to be sure parts that got partially cured, I'm not going to get into that it. Right, right, right. Together. So this right. is another one where I took, um, this was a lavender stone and it, you, it's, this is a really pretty purple, but you can't see it. 
Very oh, well. and the light. Got it. And I see the little stone on the bottom. Okay. So that was the ones I made in that last template. And these, I just love these earrings. I have some real, I have all three sizes. I have small, medium, and large. Very pretty. And, and this is my new goddess template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to mask and do, these are what I call a fold over earring. The ones on the, uh, quite a few of those. And I'm going to show you how to just powder coat half of it. So you've got the bright bronze or bright I silver I and that. you have another color. Love that. So we'll do that in class. I love and when it's all, when it's half, when it's two colors. Yeah, and this is my, you're going to get addicted. <laughs> this is my favorite template of all of them. It's the organic tier that when I did in 2019, I think. And so you can do black and white, which we love the black and white. These other, these solid black earrings have sparkle clear on top. And I can't show you with a picture, but sparkle clear will change anything into a metallic -y, sparkly into heaven coat. So, so all the basic colors can be changed by putting a little different little top smart. coat on it. Um, Judy, you could use these to saw out templates. You could um, use a marker, put it on your metal and saw out, but these are also used for cutting out metal clays. But you mm -hmm. could use it that way. I mean, you know, you can use templates. You could use templates and cut out paper. I mean, that's it's just great to be able to have that to trace. Um, and sometimes I do that. These these little ones with the wire. Um, I'll, there's a video coming out for cool tools that uh, will show how to do those. But um, these little templates. A lot of times I'll I'll cut paper out, and then use the paper. Um, to kind of roll onto metal clay and get all yeah. kinds of different shapes. Templates yeah. are really amazing. Yeah. Very handy to have that. Um, wait, there was another good question in here. Did you, I don't know, Marion, can you do it on resin? I would think you would do this first and put the resin on top. Yes, because the yeah. resin, but I, I, personally, I would put, put a clear powder coat on top. And top it's instead of, right, right, right. Stronger than resin. Right, right. I, I and got it gonna be my kind of I'm, I'm gonna switch probably to that from resin resin and I I only love long cure resin so we're not friends but there I'm gonna go. take the class and so we'll see so this one is where you just add a color and show part of the metal again which and I this love this is a transparent color and we'll talk about all the different types of colors oh yes that's I that came up before yes there's transparent I know someone typed that in there and I forgot to answer that yeah there's um, transparent and there's solids, and then there's a uh, special top coats, and there's metallics. So I, I'm going to give you a they spreadsheet that, that shows you everything. So these were kind of boring. And I wanted to show you, you don't have to polish really, really well. You have to clean it, but you don't have to polish it perfectly if you're going to powder coat, which is kind of an attraction for me, unless you're showing some, some is going to be shown. But so this is what I had. And yesterday, Look at how cute she did this. And yes, that, that blue color is in the kit, right? Um, I don't know if we have blue. I think we have uh, the, aqua. the bluish no. one is the clear aqua, I think. Yeah. Which is the one that's on its way to me. Okay. So There's a um, great, there is a great one in the kit. Um, but you know what? I know all of you, you're going to want to order more colors, but look how fun this is. All right. So she put everything down on powder and then, and then look how they come out. Pika blue, they have that. And this is silver. I don't always love to do silver with something else. Um, but this, if you use silver and you're going to put powder coat on top of it, that's a transparent, you want to make it really, really shiny. So maybe put it in your tumbler with steel shot because you want nice. a really, really shiny background because then it's going to have that reflective um, coming back. So this is a um, gold tastic, which is a great gold. Love it. Um, you are getting in your kit, wait, they'll be coming up the black and white pens, which I love. Look at how cute those freaking poppies are learning how to do that. I mean, come on. So this cute. is so fun. And the first time I did this, I did it with, um, I took powder coating and made the flowers out of it. This one, I just used the pens and she's going to have a lot of pens you can purchase different colors. Um, but this is so fun because yeah, I'm not an art painterly artist. And for me, um, the ones my friends do who paint are just stunning. No, you did a great job there, Miss Cindy. And, and this one is, again, a, you get if you do a gradient, and my methodology is I mix certain types together to get this gradient, but this is two transparents 
and a solid and a metallic solid. And man, it's so pretty. And if depending on how you look at it, you see kind of a different. It changes. It's uh, it, it's kind of color. I call it color changing. Really hard to there take you a go. picture yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close up, you could see it more. Yeah. Yeah, those are great colors. I mean, come on. So somebody said, can you do 3D things? Here we go. These are two vases I made. Love it. And two, and um, this is another vase I made. And I will, I have another one. So I'll, pro- this will probably be the vase that I will powder coat. And this is, this is kind of all 3D things. They're Love easier that. 3D. And so the, this was really easy to do because These I powder coat it before I attach it. And this is again, three different colors and it just kind of has a lot of depth when you use multiple yep. colors. Yeah, you did. You made it have dimension. Those are lovely. I would wear that one big one as a pendant in front too. That's lovely. And if you want to know how to make these attachments, um, that gold and silver, golden bronze class, the many looks of, I can't remember what we called it, Allison, but the, maybe you could um, have Misty pop up. Which and, class? It was the class where we did silver pieces with bronze attachments and bronze pieces with silver attachments. Misty, can you look that up and put the link in the box if you can find it under Cindy's classes? You know, Because that's how you could learn to make these attachments because got it. I will be doing a ton with color now. And this, someone wanted to know about, you did the inside of this ring. So yes, you can do rounded surfaces. And the important thing is, if you like base metal rings, which I do, they tarnish your hand. Although I have a couple I polished too well. I couldn't get them to tarnish. I was going to show a finger, <laughs> but I couldn't get it. But this particular ring is fairly thick. It's probably three quarters of an inch, which would be kind of uncomfortable for me to wear. I powder coated this. And when I was up at Cool Tools filming, I wore this all the time in and out of the shower and the powder coating just made it more comfortable because it's yeah, it makes so sense. smooth yeah. and it didn't tarnish. Um, it's great. I was just really, you know, that was my big test, you know, it was like a week. And so it really, it, insides of ring was the first thing I thought of. And great, if your ring idea. doesn't fit you, you could add powder coat and you could probably add, I don't know if the eighth of a size. Okay. And so I, you could play with the size. Got it. Mm -hmm. and here's something in 3d yeah and i'm going to teach you how to um do the background and then um make gold parts or silver parts show up i just love i I think that is the class it is Um, yes there you go everyone check that out use your coup don't forget to use your coupon code though um love this so this is a little framed piece i made um with hadar and we loved the way it looked, but we really wanted to add powder coat because we'd taken powder coating. So my friend and I figured out how to mask certain parts and use different colors. You'll learn masking. No yes. Worries. It's really great to be able to leave the metal open or to use multiple colors. Love those. And this is an- another 3D piece. We carved this at Hadar's and we just dipped it. So all 3D pieces are not that tricky. Um, you have to Lovely. choose your, your powder coating carefully because some are thick and some are thin. Okay. And this is just, um, a copper piece that wasn't very interesting. So I took my gold, purple, orange, and green, um, pens from cool tools and I just colored in and then you clear coat over it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, these. I love this. This was a gradation kind of thing you said you did for this. Yeah, these are my favorites. And this one is um, a dark color. And I'll show you, um, I think, a little bit later. This is a a top coat called Tanzanite, and it changes every color. So I just put it looks like a white frost color. Mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm. put it on top about halfway up, and then I use the silver pen. And Mm -hmm. I love these earrings. And this is actually a friend of mine uh, created this template, Paula McDowell. And I love this template also. She, it's not for sale. Those of us, a few of us at um, MCA got it, but it. Um, it's a great template. Yeah. And yes, um, Shirley, Cindy did say 
yes, with pens. You get two pens in the kit to start black and white. So you can decide if that's for you and then get more colors or enamels. And this could have been easily done with white. And this one is, I, those of you that are still users, there'll be a little bonus on how to create masks using the cell, but you can also just put dots all over and uh, color in. And there's a lot of different ways. So I'll show you how to do it without a sill, but I'll also have a She means the showing. silhouette. Sorry, she, silhouette. Yeah, a cutting machine, either yeah, your or cricket, cricket or any of those. Yeah, cutting out silhouette, um, cutting out stencils with your cutting machines. That was that a stencil? This was a stencil, something I designed and I just used the gold pen. And I love, love this. This is a shiny metallic blue. The metallics are really pretty. Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. And this one, um, I didn't mean it to look like a Christmas tree, but I thought it was kind of cool as a Christmassy thing without like in your face Christmas. And this is also that tanzanite on top of, of a dark black or a dark gray. And it just, it, it really is a pretty color. It, and it does something different depending on what you put it on, which you'll see in a minute. And yes, those pens are actually a pen. You, you look at the... Um... It's a, called a paint pen. Can you put... Missy, can you put the um, kit PDF in the box again? Because then people can open it up. You can see everything that comes with it and the um, the link for it so that everyone can see. And this is one where I covered it all except for where the pink is. I used the pink pen to make it. And then I just used dots of color. And these are sweet little earrings. The green Very green sweet. is kind of a fun color. I'm, I don't, I'm not usually a green person, but I just love it. It's these. a good and green. And they're tiny. They're like maybe maybe less three quarters of an inch. So you can yeah, work. Those small. are cute. That's great. Oh, then I like this too. And this is black and white, right? Yeah. This is black with the sparkle clear on top. So you see the little, it's hard to show that glitter, but you can see the glitter in this picture. And then I just put white dots all over it. And I love it. That's fabulous. Little clear coat on top. I mean, too fun. All right. So this is, you're showing us a bunch of colors. Uh, well, you can tell, you get, you know, some round blanks. There's some on Cool Tools website and, and test and play around with what works and what doesn't work. I, I kind of go on a tangent though. I have too many colors. Um, it's a problem. Oh, really? Too many colors? Mm. I have too many colors. We all don't, don't say I have it. enablers you, in my life. Who you have just me. enough colors. Just stop. No, oh. no, I don't have enough colors. Okay. We have not enough colors. No, um, there's some, I'm just getting two more from Cool Tools. Um, in a couple days. <laughs> so I, I, here's, hey, here, should I go back? Yeah, go back. So this is the one where I told you about that tanzanite and the sparkle clear. So um, if you put sparkle clear over something, it just turns it sparkly. You can also mix it with stuff, which I've done, but the tanzanite almost is color changing, especially with dark colors. And this, again, it's, my photography does not do justice to this. Hopefully on video, I'll be able to show you a little bit better. Okay. It, it's an interesting, um, the top coats are really interesting because they change a lot. So they have two top coats. They have the Tanzanite and the Sparkle Clear. And Sparkle Clear will come in your kit because who doesn't no, want to make something that. sparkly? I, who doesn't? No, I always want to. I don't. But you, yeah. And Fine. here, yeah, this is just a bunch. I used India inks and then clear coated over it. So it works with India inks. Um, it works with Pam East inks. I don't know if you saw the I Love Tools with Pam East and her inks, Green oh, World. Yeah. I call them Pam's inks, but she says they're really Green World inks. Green World, so, yeah. So, she, and she's going to use them in an upcoming class, but you can use that. Um, some of the orangey yellow colors tend to brown a little bit at 350. So, but most of the colors I've done I've like painted with it, not even put it through a tumbler, just use them as paints and they're beautiful. And then on the left-hand side, it's, this is kind of like an inlay, but I have piece that sticks up. So I'm powder coating and playing attention to timing and then just making the bronze show. Love it. And Cindy's working on a whole um, uh, chart for everyone that'll be in the handout when you come with class. So you'll know what colors are good, how long, blah, 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 all the stuff. So you'll know everything. Uh, so, all right. So here we have. That. So this is the one that I powder coated that was a patina. 
and it hasn't really changed. You do, I you know, it. you do lose some of the purples, um, but not a lot. And you still get a nice patina. And I like the way you can actually patina in the, in the toaster oven. So you can get a oh, color yeah. you yeah, want yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. then dip it. Yeah. I love that too. That's gorgeous. So this is an inlay and the top one is where, where I discovered you have to make it really shiny, but this is an inlay te technique, which I'll show you. And um, so what you can do is you can put your um, powder on top of a texture, partially cure, and then sand off the top. Oh, yeah. okay. <gasps> Dale said she just signed up for the class. Yay. Everyone sign up. It's ridiculous. What we'll learn. I love that, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to make a metal clay piece. You can just start with what, what comes in the kit. And it, to me, that's the way I probably should have done it that way to start with. But I made all, a bunch of metal clay pieces. And now I practice on all my. But you always do. all. We, that's why we appreciate you doing all that. But here's the thing. This is what I love is like you can make um, a lot of things right away doing this. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's put, can you put the link to the class in the site again? Then Ro I see that Robin, we'll make sure you get all of that before we hang up and there'll be a, there'll be a um, follow-up email with everything. Cause I knew we all just get excited looking at all of this. So this is what I've got on. This is the do over piece and that flower, which was really pretty, but it just, it was bronze and it just wasn't very exciting. I have a drawer full of do over pieces, which I have now pulled out, especially silver, like sometimes if silver doesn't look good. I just hate to like, I don't want to recycle it. I want it. So now I can add a little color to it. So this is again, the three colors that give you like a real depth. And these colors, um, I think are all in the kit and man, I just love these now. So that's fabulous. I was just putting in the box, everyone. Um, I just had it available right there. I just put in the class link, the kit link. Don't forget to use your coupon code SPARKLE25 so you'll save 25%. Uh, and you can buy other stuff as well. Look at all of Cindy's classes and everything so, in there. Yeah. Don't get rid of your, you know, if, if you have a box like I do, I'm going to have to go through my recycling box that I was going to someday send to Rio. I, I think this gives new life to boring pieces. I No question about it. Because mm -hmm. Dale just wrote in there, she has tons of bronze and copper that she can reuse everything for. Um, can you, you, Paula wants to know, can you use this to color on top of enamel that you don't like? That's an interesting question, Paula. I would posit to guess yes. My enamel pieces, I don't want to go over, but I'm taking my, I have enamel chamber that I've, pieces I've made for enamel that I'll be powder coating and I'll show you those in um, class. Um, Laura, here's the link for the Cool Tools kit. You don't need a code for Cool Tools. You'll see when you click through, they've already discounted the price for us for Craftcast. Mm -hmm. That's your kit link right there. Um, this is very sweet. I love those earrings. This is my one of my teacher's gifts, and she loves Gerberia um, daisies and that really oh, yeah, bright great. red color. So this is, again, gradient. It's hard to tell on a flat picture. But and the bottom is like a jingle bell, but so you can also just take a piece and with silver, I think it's good to just do a little pop like the flower, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a leaf. There's a lot of different things. And he, these were, she loved them. Very yeah. sweet. And here's something I made that was a pain to polish. You can see I made it on the sill and it just wasn't fabulous. <laughs> and I didn't want to polish it anymore. I didn't want to get a little. So here's what I did. Okay. That is so fun. And now I love them. Isn't that great? I'm going to go backwards. Not happy. Play with powder coating. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Louise wants to know what would be the best base metal clay to use other than silver or copper? Is there one um, that's the best? I like Aureus bronze. Um. Okay. I use Hadar's bronze. I use um, the Cypress copper. So I've been using a lot of Aureus and Cypress because I've been doing videos for cool tools and just love them. Kathy, that's not a silly question. So do we have to have the kid to take class? Absolutely not. No, a lot of times I take the class. And then go and, buy everything after. And Jeez. then just I know decide what I want to get. 
That's just, <sighs> yeah. It's just, you're just, you guys are just getting a sneak peek. Le- literally that kit and everything was done last night at nine. Cause I said to um, Rhonda at Cool Tools, let's just show everyone the kit. I'm so excited. Um, and then you could have it, you know, up front. So you can and definitely you can pick take like, the class. You could pick just, you have a toaster oven. You can pick a couple, couple of colors and, and you've, some of you right. already have sifters. So it just, it's going to make it easier if you are thinking you want to go heavy into it. Right. Which is what I've done. Because we normally we make the handout with um, uh, links to every little thing, so this makes it one stop shopping. It's um, fun. I to don't. Do. I don't think you want to. Um, Julie asked if you can use. I it see in a that full, full size, size oven. Yeah. You don't want to mess with your cooking stuff. You I don't think that. unless you have like a second oven that you want to de- dedicate to crafts, which yeah. I've seen that people have. But a toaster oven, and you definitely need the thermometer that comes with the kit. Yeah, because yeah. you want your temperatures to be correct. So we'll give you a couple ideas of ones that we know are good. Um, we had a Hamilton Beach that we used with Ron at Rhonda's. She got it for her wedding. And it was in the box. So we took it out of the box and the temperatures were fabulous. So you just a lot of uh, um, if you heard Meg's on the last I Love Tools, a lot of ovens overshoot. So I would look at reviews really carefully because you don't want to be at 500 when you're supposed to be at 400. And I'm just going to say, cause Cindy brought this up. Um, yeah, just to, you don't need a kiln for this Louise. Um, mm-hmm. That one of the reasons we definitely put a, a thermometer in the kit, even though people would say I have a thermometer is because you really want to have two to check because they can be that frigging different is what we've discovered. So temperature is so important. We don't want it to not work because you thought an old thermometer said one temperature and you didn't know the actual temperature. So that's why, just so you guys know. And I, I tested um, the thermometer against one of mine and it was really consistent up at Cool Tools, the one they're selling. But um, I learned about thermometers and, and um, toaster ovens from Mags Bonham when she said, that's why your clay is turning brown. Correct. It's more important than you think it is. So yes. very interesting. Okay. So here's something else covered in class. These are the tiles you're going to show. It's just regular ceramic tiles from Lowe's, which I got a really good deal on. They were selling out and I got them for like three cents a piece. Yes, That's so good. All right. Wait, let me, um, don't talk yet. Let me put in here, Nancy, I, you'll get follow-up emails, but let me put in all of the lists again. The class to sign up for is this there is your power coding class here is your um kit link let me do this i think it all uh, should be working um this is your let me just do that there's your kit and then use sparkle 25 at craftcast and you get you'll get 25% off you do it's just that sale hasn't started yet, but I thought I'm not going to not tell people it starts on the weekend, blah, 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 blah. So um, use all of that. Now look at those tiles. All right. So here was before really cheap tiles and look at that after come so, on. I had a play date, a powder cutting play date with my friends. Um, and we did, we did some those. ceramic tiles with masks. For, we just did vinyl on the silhouette and oh my gosh, we had so fun. So much fun. Rebecca and Claudia did f- four of those. They let me borrow them for the picture. Love that. I love Louise just said, I need a big vacation. We all need, I'm into um, staycation things. So that's what I'm into just to have time to play. Um, our kit items. So say you have some of the things. Okay. Yes. Take a look. It, they are, it might still be cheaper to buy the kit. So check and see, cause we discounted the price because of the kit. So depending on what you have, just take a look. If you have any questions, Shirley, just email us. Um, Yeah, staycations, right, Louise? It's like what we need. Um, Love that. Love that. Art art brings joy in the summer, doesn't it? Yes. I'm Um, doing it with the little girls. My little granddaughters were doing watercolor and all kinds of things. I know it. I agree with you. It's all so important. Misty, thank you. You can send any email or to support at craftcast.com if you have questions. Um, do you have to buy what right now? The supplies? No, of course not. We're just we're so excited. It, here's the class. You'll see when you go on to craftcast.com, that link right in there. Um, you've signed up for class and bought the kit. Yeah, Nancy, you're my kind of girl. <laughs> we are, we are 
or all purpose en- enablers. <laughs> but we, yeah, I do. Woo-hoo. I have had, I've been working on it for a year and a half and some of my friends in town get, we get together and play and just have discovered so many interesting things. And my, I can't enamel because we have uh, little people around the house. And so I don't really have a clean space. So this is working a lot better for me and I can, I can burn it off, which for me is huge. A redo. Yeah. A re- I love a redo if I mess up. Um, Dale wants to know, can you powder go both sides of your earrings? Yes. Um, if That's you dip, thought. yeah. If you, you dip, dip yeah. or you can sift both sides, or if you have silver earrings, I haven't done this yet, but if you have silver earrings and you think um, sometimes polishing the back is a lot of work. You could just powder coat the back and have like a pop of color in the back of yeah. silver earrings, which I think is pretty fun. I love Jill that you said, I buy all the purple day. You're so cute. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what? I'm also into buy yourself a gift as some supplies. I mean, to me, I know we're all the same tribe here. doesn't take much to twist your arm. Um, it's be, buying, I, I know everyone listening will understand this, buying supplies, buying the supplies is fun. Playing with the supplies is also fun, <laughs> but buying the supplies is fun. I think it's just the high of anticipation and the possibility. So, uh, it is. It, it is, And right? it just takes a toaster oven so you're not firing up your kiln which I right. like and see that the little round pieces, if you have the Swanstrom cutter, which is a really good video on cool tools about it, which I've been hard pressed to not buy it. Um, you can just make your own little washers and create like little circle, circle cutouts. Uh-huh, to use. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's, and they have a pattern metal you could use. Yeah. Claudia, that's and, a good question. She wanted to know how much powder is in a container. Here, let's look at it. I don't know how much that weighs, but it's a lot. You have plenty of powder to play with. It's a with. Cu- quarter pound. And I have not, like, I've been doing this for a year and a half. And I ha- the only thing I've gotten close to getting through is my sparkle clear, because I like to add sparkle to everything. But really, it doesn't take very much powder. Now, if you're doing coasters, you know, you're going to go through a little bit more powder. But um, it's plenty to start. I love what Jill said. Buying the supplies is sometimes the only step I complete. You know what? And that's perfectly fine, Jill. I think having our boxes set up and then at some point you come and you use it. It's all good is what I say. We can do a Zoom in-person thing afterwards. Uh, It's for those that want to do it. Um, Wait, coupon code is just for classes at CraftCast. Correct, Jerry. The Sparkle 25. Um, Quilt is already taken off. You'll see when you go to the site. They discounted it for us already because two coupon codes always gets confusing. Oh, Nikki has a good question. What is the range of temps for the powder coating? Um, the ones that we have is 350 to 400. Okay. And you can get low temperature ones, but I have not um, played with them. She says that powder coats are flying off the shelf, though. It's really pretty fun. If you guys are interested and you think you are going to buy a kit, I do suggest you do it now because um, uh, they will, you know, we didn't know how many kits to make. So if you want to grab one, just do it now. I know how this goes. Uh, thought I asked a quilters and thought I just said, mentioned this might really help with skin sensitivities to metal. Very good. Very good question. I mean, very good comment. Louise said, do you glue the CZ afterwards or um, is it set in the powder coat? So what I do is I, that's a, that's a cold sift that I do. And then I take little tweezers and I put it in the powder coat and, and then it closes around it as it cures. So it's like kind of a, a no fuss set. That's, I think you could love that, it, but I, you know, I'm not a big, my glues are all stopped up and hard. And so you know, I, some, you know, I do glue on my leather bracelet, the cuff on my leather, leather bracelets, but, um, Shirley, the class is live. You also get a recording. I think, what is it? July 17th, Cindy? I can't remember 19th. right now. 19th. Um, so sign up for it. Once you sign up, um, once you purchase it, you're guaranteed to get the recording. Even if something happens last minute, you can't make the live event. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we get some other quick questions here. Will using clear powder coat protect patinas on copper and bronze? Good question, Claudia. It, it will. But Crazy. again, it's a 350. So you're going to get it's going to darken it up a little bit. But I love the red that my copper is turning. And so I'm I'm pretty pleased with 
the patina that I'm getting. Um, there's a there's a class coming up um, on Craftcast, uh, not on Craftcast, on cool tools on doing protecting a patina, but it's really really easy, and I'll do it for this one too, so you'll see kind of how we how we do that. You know, if you've not taken a Cindy Pope class, you will learn everything. Plus, you'll have enough bonus material to watch that you'll be busy the rest of the summer. It's a perfect summer project, I gotta say. Um, we decided, Susan, that you needed a separate whisk for each color, but that you didn't have to have a sifter for each color. You can certainly add them to the kit if you would like. We were trying to do a kit that covered everything you apps that you needed that you probably didn't have already um, because most people are already crafters. You could clean them out with compressed air as long as you That's have your mask idea. on. Yep. And you, or you can, um, I, I have a whole bunch I'm washing. Usually you're only doing two or three colors at a time. Um, I'm doing like, I don't know. More colors. colors. You know how time. she is. Um, but um, I would buy more, especially if you're an enamelist, because these are like fabulous sifters. I really love them. Uh, Cindy, that you'll see everything with how the whisk is used to mix the powder coat. That's going to be all mm -hmm. part of the class. You'll learn all of that. Maybe a good name for this class, Julie said, is very warm enameling, not cold, not real. <laughs> <laughs> I think I send you a hug, Shirley. I loved how you're thinking. It's a very warm enameling class. You're too cute for words. Uh, it's going to be great fun, you guys. Um, take advantage of it. There will be a big sale. There's other great classes that are on CraftCast that we just completed. I want to promote, shoot, I didn't put it in here. Misty, can you pull out um, the link for Sean's class? Because that class, we had a Zoom crash at the time. But Sean, so our last live class, two classes ago, she did um, scratch foam carving. But let me tell you, everyone was blown away by the end of that class. Again, a cheap supply to make your own texture plates, but she showed three different ways, a free form, one to do it totally geometric. I forget what the last one is right off the top of my head. It will blow you away. I'm just saying. The Something drawing was, was amazing. The, the like her, yeah. the techniques, I, yeah. I'm all about techniques. Yeah. And so her techniques were amazing to, to be able to create these. And I think you probably use them drawing onto metal clay too. Yeah. Like a lot of us carve on our metal clay patterns and all these drawing techniques she's teaching you for scratch foam, I think, translate. They do. And I just was blown away. It was like, who would have thought that? It's great to play and practice with scratch, scratch foam. There it is. There is the class link. Use your coupon code and get that. It was so freaking good. I'm just telling you. Um, okay, so let me see. I'm getting off on another tangent. We all got addicted to scratch foam after that class. Oh, and there's a kit. There, That was our very first kit. Um, I don't know if you can put that in there too, Misty, if you can find that kit link, which comes from a few pieces of scratch foam and all the basic, the stylus that you need for that and everything. It is so fun. Um, did you say you could recommend a toaster oven? Prime Day is coming soon. She will recommend things in there. Absolutely. But my toaster oven has been discontinued, but there's one that's a little higher end, which of course I want now. Um, and I know the temperatures are good. And then the Hamilton Beach, I'll get the, um, the model number from... Rhonda, because that one was, was really good. It was small, small footprint, unbelievably good temperatures. I could not believe a, t a little toaster oven would hold temperature that well. So if you're a polymer person, again, you, you might want to grab one of those too. Louise, yes, you're correct. Laura, can you use the toaster oven you use to cook with? No, don't. Don't, don't mix this up. I, I don't even like to do the polymer clay. I don't put any craft stuff in where I'm going to also cook. It's just not safe. Now, we didn't put any of the safety things in there, like the masks. I mean, at this point, probably people still have some masks that, you know, but Cindy will go over all the safety things and, and they'll have that for sale as well um, on cool tools if you don't have safety stuff. Uh, how long ago did this class start? I thought it was starting in four minutes. Oh no, Sharon, no, we started an hour ago, poo poo. Well, you'll be on the list, you'll get the recording. We've all been having a crazy um, uh, party over here playing around with all of this powder coating stuff. Oh, Brenda wants to know, oh, 7-Eleven. You know what? Maybe post that, um, if you got that link, Maybe you can post it beforehand on a Facebook page, Cindy, so that people can take advantage of Prime Day to buy it. So at Metal Clay now, or I'll give it to, 
Allison, do you have a newsletter going out? I don't have the, the model number for um, Rhonda. No, let's put it on. You give it to me. We'll post it over on um, Facebook. Okay. Um, the kits have, the kit will stay available. I just know they only made a certain amount because we're experimenting with this. So um, if you definitely know you want one, I would get it sooner than later is all I'm saying. Because uh, I hate it when they run out. <laughs> that's that's why, and I know a lot of people do it while we're watching the class, we're buying the materials. Um, Sharon, okay, I was doing for the that. Okay. I, during, I love tools. I'm, I'm I supposed know. to present in a minute and I am <laughs> I ordering green, green world inks. You know, it's, it's I, I've always, I'm looked. laughing because I understand it's just, it's fun. And you know what? It's healthier than a lot of other things. So, yes, um, it's a yeah, it's all. We have a really good time. All right, ladies, this has been fun, right? All right, wait, let's take Cindy said, do you use the acrylic paint pens? Yes, over the powder coat. Do you mean they're also powder coat pens? No, they're they're not powder no, no. coat pens. No. There, there may be such a thing. I don't know about it, but I used it on top of the powder coating and then you do a clear coat over it. So you'll see um, how that works. The wonderful thing about that, you also have do-overs on that. So if you do a bad picture, you can just wipe it off. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And you see, those are the pens. You can see um, the picture you're seeing right now in the kit. It's a black and a white. That's what those pens look like. And of course, you can get them in all, all colors. We just wanted to start people off with experimenting with them and see if they like them. So um, so those are great. Uh, any other questions? Did you guys have fun? You did, right? It's fine, right? <laughs> we all, you're welcome, Susan. I know we love it. It's so much fun to learn something new. Very informational. I agree. We, we, applause to Cindy. She just finds something she loves and goes off with it. And we love it. I'm so excited to see you all in class. You'll get a follow-up email with everything. Thank you guys for writing and all the thank yous. It's so sweet. Big hugs to everyone. You'll get a follow-up email tomorrow. Um, just in case you thought, oh, wait, I forgot to get the links. Um, it is lovely to experiment with. Um, got the kit, then lost the screen, but back in. Okay, good, Margaret. Um, and we'll send out, you know, all the information. You know us. We'll make sure you know everything. We don't want anyone to feel they missed out on something. Um, and uh, and that's good. I look forward to seeing everyone. It'll be really fun. See you all soon. Um, stay healthy and uh, and yay. Right. Happy summer. Really happy summer. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, you guys. Miss Pope. Thank you, everyone. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna click off. You're welcome, guys. Um, go shopping. Um, it's all fun. <laughs> now Thanks, everyone Allison. can go play and shop. So go enjoy. You're welcome, Cindy. My pleasure as always. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful evening and I'll see you all soon. <laughs>